two passengers who were on that flight, registered nurse Peggy Phillips and Marty Martinez now join us here. Um, first of all, our, our hearts go out to everybody that was on board, and especially uh, Jennifer's family. And, and let, let me start with you first. I know you're, you're back home in Dallas. 20 minutes into the flight, something goes horribly wrong. Can you tell us what you experienced? Um, yes, it, um, it was terrifying. There was a, an incredibly loud noise and the plane started shaking um, like I've never experienced uh, before. And I think we all knew at that point that something was terribly wrong. Mm -hmm. um, the oxygen mask dropped down out of the compartment and um, we all assisted each other trying to get our masks on and helping people cross the aisle. Um, and I noticed at the time that there was uh, a gentleman, a young man who was helping, he was out of his seat with his ma mask off helping other people. Um, and I, I noticed him because it was just, I, it was something I wasn't really expecting. Uh, and I kind of had him pegged for um, probably some sort of medical personnel, but I didn't know that for sure. Um, and, you know, as this progressed and we did have the incident behind us, um, I saw him go down the aisle very, very quickly. And I turned around to try to figure out what exactly was going on. And there were a lot of, there, the flight attendants were, were there, mm. the uh, Jim and uh, Andrew, the EMT, were there. and. Um, I did not know the situation at that time. I knew something had happened, but I wasn't sure what. And, you know, we tend to go, okay, there's a lot of people back there. I don't want to go back and, and make the situation any worse by crowding things. And, but the minute they said, we need someone who, who knows CPR, I got up and went back, took off my oxygen mask, went back, and we began CPR immediately. Uh, Andrew and I ran the CPR. Um, he's the EMT, and he, he, he was just the most courageous mm. young man. Um, and I, I think we had a lot of, um, I don't consider myself a hero by any stretch, and I, um, but there were heroes on that plane, and uh, I was just doing my job. Well, Peggy, Andrew was doing his job. Right, you, you, you're, you're being, you're very kind, but I mean, everybody who jumped in, <laughs> such as yourself and others, doing what, whatever could, could be done, and, and Marty, the reason that we know so much of what happened on that flight, you know, some people were, were reaching for their phones and trying to send texts. You reached for your laptop, and you went Facebook Live. Yeah. What were you thinking there? Immediately I knew something was going wrong, mm -hmm. you know, between the first explosion that I heard and oxygen mass being deployed, and then I heard another loud um, sort of boom, and that was the, the window going out. And once it started shaking violently, you know, it's our own, it, it's everyone's worst fear. Um, mm -hmm. You know, at the back of your mind, we've all flown before and you feel this turbulence, right? And in the back of your mind, you always think, is this the way I'm gonna go? And then most often times you, you get to your place safely. And all I could think of in that moment was um, I need to communicate with my loved ones. And um, it was just very instinctual for me to think of um, to, to get Wi-Fi. And as everyone was putting on their oxygen mask, I was reaching for my laptop. And think about this, you know, I, I don't know how, uh, how many minutes I had left. I didn't know whether it would work. And I'm frantically looking for my credit card and trying to punch in the credit card number so that I could, um, so that I could speak to the outside world. And, and then uh, I came to the moment where I had Wi-Fi. And then to be put in that position where I had to figure out what loved ones I was going to reach out to and in what order and, mm. and, and what do I tell them? And, um, I just thought, how can I reach people in mass? And I immediately thought of um, a Facebook Live, and um, I thought that this is if these are my last few moments on Earth. Like I, I want, I want people to know what happened, yeah. and it was just the most terrifying experience. I can only imagine. And when you're told to to brace for the landing, and then you all are on the ground. I know that the pilot. Um, who is Tammy Jo Schultz, who I believe is a, f a former fighter pilot. And, and everybody on board just wanted to give her high praise in what she did, Marty. Oh, absolutely. I think, um, you know, when, when we were instructed to uh, brace yourselves, you know, it was a, from a very frantic voice, brace yourself, brace yourself. I look out uh, of my window and I see this city that was very foreign to me. I didn't know, it didn't look like New York City. I was like, where could we possibly be landing? 
Um, and I had no idea if we, uh, I felt like I could touch the tops of, you know, the skyscrapers in mm. Philly, what I now know to be Philly. And I, I kept thinking, where could we possibly be landing? Um, you know, are, is it, are we crash landing in, uh, you know, in downtown Philly? Are we landing on a run, on a freeway runway? Um, and uh, that was a terrifying experience. Um, I didn't know how hard it was going to be. Wow. And then for her to come out and, and hugging like that, and I'm glad you, you drove here from Philly. You didn't fly, but Peggy, you flew home to Dallas. I mean, the experience, I just, I know they're telling me the rap, but just the experience, Peggy, of, of, of getting on the flight and going home, and, and what is it like to wake up the next morning after experiencing something like this, Peggy? Um, you know, the whole thing was um, a little surreal. Um, you know, uh, my training was awesome, and I just did what I do, and I, it kicked in. I did what needed to be done, what any registered nurse would do. Um, this morning waking up, um, I can't say that I slept very well last night. Mm. Um, and I'm sure most passengers did not sleep very well last night. Um, I, I'm terribly, terribly sorry for the family. My heart goes out to them. Yes, to um, Jennifer. But I, I'm so proud of my fellow passengers and the flight crew and the pilot. Well, they did an awesome job. Bless your heart. I'm glad that you're home. And Marty, thank you for, for being here uh, as well. And again, we're thinking of everybody that was on board, especially Jennifer and the seven people who were injured. All right, thank, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.